Welcome back YouTubers, Peter here with another episode of the Master of Hobbits Beer Reviews. Thanks for joining me. Today, we're going to be looking at a beer by Hair the Dog. This is the Hair the Dog Fred. Uh, going to be my first beer from Hair, Hair the Dog in a long time. Uh, the thing is, this beer was uh, is made as a tribute to uh, Fred Eckhart, which is a big beer writer over here in the United States. It's made with organic coastal malt, rye malt, and... Um, Belgian candy sugar, which is quite interesting, and then Northwest Hot Berries. Um, it's on 10%. Thing is, on the bottle, they call it a Golden Special Ale. Uh, online, people call it a barley wine, so it should be interesting seeing what type of beer this actually is. So let's get it cracked open. So the color on Fred, it's like a hazy orange type of color. Uh, Kind of looks like an IPA almost, because uh, of the orange notes. Three finger, off whitish head. Looks like this is going to stick around, leave some good lacing. Uh, not too much carbonation on there. Kind of looks more like a Belgian Golden than a Barney Wine, but just check out the aroma. Hmm, yeah. Kind of smells more like a Belgian Strong Golden Ale. I get some of those... Um, Kind of um, more sweeter maltiness, some of that candy kind of sugar aromas to it. Don't pick up on too much of the rye. It's kind of faintly in there, kind of like a spicy backdrop to it. Some kind of peppery notes. Definitely the Pilsner malt. You smell that for sure. It's got that crisp kind of clean, sweet maltiness to it. Mmm, but a really almost like a little bit of a honey character to it too. Quite malty, but then again, you get some of those more uh, fruity aspects of it, which is more like a kind of a green apple-y uh, kind of aroma to it. A little bit of like fresh cut grass. It smells, it smells pretty nice. More along the lines of a Belgian strong blonde ale than a party wine. But let's give it a taste. Cheers. Yeah, I'd say Belgian Strong Golden. Uh, I can kind of see what people are saying about it being in Barney Wine, wine territory. Because it's quite sweet and... Not really syrupy, but it's quite sweet. Um, the body on it is kind of... It's medium, I'd say. It's got a nice kind of creamy mouthfeel with a, like, a dry finish. Mm. Yeah, it has pretty tasty flavors on there. Definitely, again... The Pilsner malt shines through that kind of crispness to it. A um, little bit of that fresh cut kind of grassy flavor to it. Decent amount of like a uh, caramel kind of flavor in there, kind of toffee flavors, which is more like Barney Wine territory. A little bit of the apple and pear in there too. Um, kind of refreshing actually for a 10% beer, which is pretty nice. It does have a little bit of a syrupy, kind of that candy sugar flavor to it. Um, but still, it has a decent amount of carbonation and, and bright fruit flavor to keep it from being like cloyingly sweet, uh, which is quite nice. Mm. Not a mind-blowingly good beer, but I, I think it's pretty tasty. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty tasty brew. Um, some of those, some a little bit of piney notes in there too, kind of. But mostly, I get like the the more sweeter uh, maltiness too, like the caramel kind of toffee flavors, along with the sweet maltiness, kind of that. Um, flavor, a little bit of honey, grassiness kind of to it, a little bit, yeah, the kind of grassy hop and pine, but mostly other than that, it's more the bright fruit, kind of more Belgian character with the uh, apple and pear. So, uh, yeah, rating-wise for the Hair of the Dog, Fred. I'm going to give this an 85. It's an interesting beer. It's kind of a weird beer, kind of on the sweeter side. Still kind of refreshing, even though it's like a 10% beer. But it's definitely worth your time uh, if you can get Hair the Dog beers. Not anything I'd go out of my way to get, though. But I hear the, the Fred from the Wood is really good, which is uh, this barrel-aged. So, yeah, guys, that does it for this beer review. Uh, Till next time, please comment, subscribe. Cheers.